One of the common tasks that I'm asked to do when I'm creating advertising or marketing materials is, take this girl and move her to the right because we need the ad copy to appear here on the left. Well, that's a lot easier said than done. However, a few versions ago, underneath the spot healing brush, Adobe added this content aware move tool. In fact, it was the last version. With the content aware move tool, I can make a very rough selection of the girl by just clicking and dragging. And when I get to the bottom, I don't simply let go. With any selection you're making, it's a good work habit to go back to where you started. If you don't, Photoshop may decide how to close the selection for you and leave a line across the girl or the area you're trying to select. I'm happy with this. We need more brick on the right and if I were to just move the girl to the right with the move tool, it would leave a gaping hole. So clearly that's not what I want. I'll undo that and go underneath the spot healing brush tool. I right clicked to see the nested or hidden tools underneath and choose the content aware move tool. Once I select it, I get in the middle of my marching ants. Yes, that is their technical term. I click and hold and drag her to the right. Now you'll see she still exists in the background in her original spot, but when I let go, Photoshop does some trickery, very complex magic, and we'll see how it does. Oh, I am so impressed. Under select, deselect, this could have taken me 10 or 20 minutes, maybe an hour if I let my perfectionism kick in but she is gone and there's barely any evidence that she was there. If I choose edit step backward twice, let's try moving her to the opposite side because of course the client has changed their mind. So I'm going to drag her to the left. In fact, I think that frames her better. So when I let go, we'll see how it does the magic. It's got far more of her to remove if I position her on the left side of this photo. Oh. <laughs> and I'm astounded again. There's a tiny little trail here and here because it was a lot harder to do. So I'm going to undo this content aware move. And there are options for the adaptation. No, not the movie, <laughs> but the algorithm, how it's controlling what is moved. Let's try very strict. Medium is kind of the in between. I'll drag it over to the left again let go and if it doesn't do better i may try very loose it did better not part of the shirt but i am seeing some trails of hair so undo i love this example because it really lets you see what the adaptation does so let's try very loose and i'll let go and it's thinking I spend far less of my life watching progress bars, but I still unfortunately have to watch them. So at this point, it looks like most of the algorithms aren't going to do a great job and see how much of her we ended up losing. So I will do undo and I'll try the last one strict. And if there's trails or remnants, I'll show you how to get rid of those portions. And adaptation is really how carefully is it measuring the edge, how much of the subject or object you selected is it keeping. There's still a little bit of hair and a little bit of arm, but underneath the spot healing brush tool was content aware move. They're in the same family. So I'm going to go back to spot healing brush and note to self, this tool won't work outside the selection area. Whenever you select a subject, and you have the marching ants, only the inside of that selection can be affected in most cases. So I'll do select, deselect, and I'll make my brush size about as big as the area I want to clean up. So now I'm going to paint away some of the hair. Perfect. Paint away some here. And this you can use to hide any trails of cloning or painting or merging that you've done on a photo or on an image. 
So as you drag up or down, left or right, it will reevaluate how it's blending those. So I've started to do bad things there with the bricks. So I will step backward a few times, but only the trained eye will really know that you've made these edits. So there we've got a little bit of our arm back and I can drag top to bottom. That didn't work well. I'll undo bottom to top. Depending on whether you drag right or left, left or right, up or down, down to up, it will do different things. So I love to test it and see what it's doing. I'm going to hit Control Z or Command Z to do my undos a bit faster. And I'll make my brush a little bit bigger. And I'll try doing the top of the brick first. Every time you do it, it's evaluating a new part of the image. And that's not too bad considering how messy these bricks are. So I can play in further areas, but this one might have been fine to begin with. I am very happy with this. The client will be incredibly happy because they can now put text in this area and ghost it. And overall, I'm happier with the composition of this photo, giving her a PowerPoint, a focal point, if you were to consider nine slice scaling and putting the interesting subject up in a PowerPoint where those slices would intersect, giving the eye a place to be drawn to. So what we've done is use the very powerful Content Aware Move tool, which worked on the first try moving her to the right. I made it harder for Photoshop and moved her farther away, giving it more work to do by moving her to the left. But then I showed you tricks on how to compensate for what didn't move perfectly. In fact, I'm still astounded at how well it blended the bricks in the background for the new spot she landed. So this is the end of your tour of Content Aware Move and a little bonus patching. Give it a try on your own.